no, it's going to work, it's going to work. There we go. Good morning, Good morning and welcome to Mudsbury Ealing Church. I want to welcome everybody online. I want to give a warm welcome to all of uh, Josh and Nikita, Winnie and Paisley's friends and family. It's wonderful to have you with us this morning. I want to give you a really warm welcome. My name's Lee. I'm the pastor of the church. Um, We're going to have this dedication service, which we're really looking forward to. And then we give food after. Yeah. So we get loads of food, and I've been seeing the food coming. It's looking good. It's smelling lovely, and we're going to enjoy that. So we're going to have the dedication in a moment, but what we're going to do is we, we're going to worship because we are a church, and that's what we do. We worship. Um, the best way I can explain that, if um, this is the first time of seeing worship, I'm, I'm an Aston Villa fan. I know. I deserve that. I deserve that. I'll tell you that. But I am an Aston Villa fan. I watched Aston Villa versus Chelsea yesterday. I cheered in the first half, cried by the second half. But I was watching them, and like when they score, you see all the fans go mad, don't you? You see all the fans with their hands up, singing and chanting and loving it and sort of worshipping the players, so to speak. And that's what we're going to do as Christians. But we, we worship and we praise God. And that's what we will do. We will lift our hands and we will worship because our God deserves Just do what makes you feel comfortable. If you don't want to stand, you don't want to sing, that's absolutely fine. We want you to feel comfortable this morning. So let's start. If you are able to and you are happy to, let's stand. And we're just going to start with a prayer. And we're just going to say, Lord, we love you this morning. We thank you, Lord, for today. We thank you, Lord, that we have this opportunity. To celebrate with Josh we dedicate Winnie and Paisley to you Lord and we're excited for it it's a celebration it's a moment of thanksgiving to you Lord for them and Lord Father God we thank you Lord for the privilege of being part of it and having the honour to be able to just be a small process in their lives Lord and we pray Lord that as we worship and praise you this morning as we dedicate them as we hear your word lord father god that you would be honored and glorified in all that we do in your precious name amen let's worship him this morning
praise and honour this morning and we glorify your holy name and we say thank you Jesus for who you are and Lord we thank you Lord that we can turn to you this morning Lord Jesus and and for those that are on the church WhatsApp we've seen those prayer requests just this week of people un unwell people with serious illnesses people who are hurting and struggling and Lord we lift them up to you this morning each and every one of them Lord and we pray Lord that you would have your hand upon their lives this morning that they would be well that the healing God would heal them 
this morning, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the prayers you have answered, the prayers that have been lifted up already this week. You hear each and every one of them, and we thank you for that. That's why we worship and praise you, because you're a God that cares and a God that loves. And Lord, we lay before you once again this morning, each and every one of them. We lay ourselves before you, Lord Jesus. And we say, Lord, we're here for you. And Lord, Father God, for those who maybe are going through things, we turn to you. And we say you are the answer to the question. You are the solution to the problem. And we thank you for that. And we give you praise and we give you worship this morning. And as we're going to sing gratitude in a moment, and we're going to just say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for those answered prayers. Thank you for your faithfulness this morning, Lord Jesus. Because we glorify you. And we worship you this morning, Lord Jesus. We give you praise.
you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you, Lord, that you are great, you are mighty, you are loving, you are good. And we just worship and praise you this morning. And we come as we just sung and we say thank you. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for your love. And your blessings upon our lives. We give you praise this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please do take your seats. So, once again, I want to give a warm welcome to the family and friends of Josh and Nikita this morning. And in a moment, we are going to dedicate Winnie and Paisley so the first thing we've got to do is get them up here obviously you know so um, I'm going to ask uh, Josh, Nikita, Winnie, Paisley, uh, Nush, Gareth to come forward let's give them a round of applause and say come forward come on <laughs> come up on the stage come on don't be shy <laughs> that's it and see, just creates like an awkward huddle. That's, that's fine. That's what usually happens at this point. Are we all ready, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Please, you know, if people want to take photos and stuff, please, please do. So we, it is a double dedication, which is very exciting this morning. So we have Winnie, Winnie, that's, yes. So we have Winnie here, the older one, and then Paisley <laughs> down here. And as we enter this time of uh, dedication this morning, we remember that dedication is a moment and a celebration where we not only give thanks to God for Winnie and Paisley, but also as parents, parents, godparents in the middle there, um, family, friends, congregation of the church, we're going to stand together. And we're going to say we will help Winnie and Paisley in their lives, but also in their faith journey, until they get to the point where they can make the decision of their own personal faith with God. Because that is what dedication is. It is Josh and Nikita dedicating Winnie and Paisley to God. With celebration. I'll say that again. With celebration. Yes. <laughs> and thanks for their lives and acknowledging it's only by the grace of God that it is possible. In his service of dedication, we're going to give thanks to God for the lives of Winnie and Paisley. The parents, Godparents, congregation, we're all going to be asked to make a solemn promise that we will endeavour to bring up the children, Winnie and Paisley, in the discipline and instruction of the Lord relying on God's help in our work together. And family and friends, today if you decide to, you will make a promise that you will to continue, and it is a continue, to dedicate yourselves today to support, love and help Josh and Nikita as they bring up Winnie and Paisley. And as they face many challenges in their lives, as, they, as we all do, that you will be there to love and support them in all that they do. And then after those promises, we're going to pray for them. We will pray God's blessing may descend and rest upon these children, Winnie and Paisley. Remembering ourselves how the Lord Jesus took children in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands upon them. 
Mark 10, 13 to 16 says, People who were bringing little children to Jesus to have him touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. I tell you for truth, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in their arms, in his arms, sorry, put his hands on them and blessed them. Mark 9, 36 to 37 also says, he took a little child and had him stand among them. Taking him in his arms, he said to them, whoever welcomes one of these little children in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me does not welcome me, but the one who sent me. Amen. Amen. So we're going to do a few different things here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to address the parents, Josh and Nikita, this morning. And your response is simply going to be, we do. If you could say it in time, you know, that's great, but don't worry. Don't put yourselves under too much pressure. <laughs> so Josh and Nikita, in presenting these children to the Lord... And in front of God, do you promise that you will permit them, Winnie and Paisley, to be taught for truths and duties of the Christian faith? And that so by far as you are able, you will be an example to them, bringing them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. If you do, say we do. We do. Perfect. Look at that. That's a round of applause. That's great. <laughs> Perfectly time. <laughs> Your parents, it's great to have Gareth and Nush with us this morning and they are taking on the godparents role of Winnie and Paisley this morning, well, <laughs> and for the rest of their lives. Um, <laughs> I'm going to ask you to dedicate yourselves to a promise and as a response I'm going to ask you to do the same and say we do. So Gareth and Nush, as godparents, do you promise and dedicate yourselves to love, support, guide, care and encourage Winnie and Paisley? Will you pray for them? Be an example to them as you help to teach and guide them in the Christian faith. Do you also promise to help and support Josh and Nikita as they bring up Winnie and Paisley? If you do, say so we, we do. Amen. Amen. I believe you have something for them. Yes. So they've just got you a little gift here, and this is going to help remind you. You can open it now if you want. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> but this is going to be... Um, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's like Christmas Day, isn't it? When you open something in front of your parents, you've got to say, that's nice. No. <laughs> and it's um, a certificate... <laughs> and that's going to be a reminder to yourselves of the responsibility and the promises that you've just made amen i'm now going to speak to the congregation of the church these are people that come to the church every sunday and then family and friends and the response will be together and the response will be simply by standing up when asked so members of the church do you commit to nurture, help, teach Winnie and Paisley and their parents with love and understanding? Doing all you can to help Winnie and Paisley to grow in life and in faith? Do, <laughs> do you acknowledge and accept the responsibility together with the parents of teaching and training these children so they're being brought up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord they may be led in due time to trust Christ as their saviour and be made a member of his church. Family and friends, do you commit to continue to love, support and care for Winnie and Paisley as you have been doing? That you will continue to support and love and care for Josh and Nikita, helping them in all that they do? If so, congregation, family and friends, will you signify your acceptance of this responsibility by standing now. Amen. I want to stop for a moment. Josh, Nikita, you're looking out. You're not alone. 
you're not alone. It's not easy being a parent, is it? L Laura is standing. She's standing. Yeah, no. Just <laughs> she's standing. It's not easy being a parent, and you are not alone. You've got family. You've got friends. You've got the church standing with you both through all of this. And what we're going to do in a moment, we are we are going to ask. Um, we're going to actually pray over Winnie Paisley, but we also want to pray over yourselves, Josh and Nikita, Gareth and Nush, as you take these responsibilities on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the church session to come forward. That's um, Titus, Sharon, I don't think that's with us, as man. And we're going to ask the elders' wives as well. So that's Laura and Vicky. Um, Laura, there's a chair there for you. Come, come up on the stage, guys. Come up on the stage. You're going to sit there and you're going to pray from there. Yep, that's fine. Come up on the stage. Titus, as you come up on the stage. We're also going to do something... We've lost one. <laughs> we, we, we're also going to do something. We, we obviously are going to pray for the dedication. But what a lot of the church don't know is this happened just a few weeks ago. If we could look at the screen. Josh and Nikita got married. Yeah. And it was wonderful news as we heard that. We, we want to pray blessings upon yourselves as well. We've got just um, a little bit of a gift for you, Josh and Nikita, as well. Um, <laughs> that's what it be the other way <laughs> the key went from chocolate I'll have that <laughs> you know you know what you wanted <laughs> and there should be a card there as well and we just wanted to to say congratulations absolutely wonderful and we're going to pray for those things as well so the church session um, I'll hand it to you first Sharon and then just hand hand around to pray so the rest of us we're going to pray if you that's something that you do please do pray for them so let's just spend this moment in prayer with them hallelujah Father God, Lord, this morning we just want to give you praise for this mm. family before you. yes lord the new life lord that you bring upon your church worship you jesus Father, our, our prayer is that you bless Nikita and Josh with long life and happy memories, Lord. Yes, Jesus. And Lord, as they are at the beginning of their life together, that Father God, you are the concrete posters between them. That they are anchored to you, Lord. That everything that they do, everything decision that they make, Father God, is guided by your Holy Spirit. Yes. Lord, we pray for Winnie and for Paisley. Yes, Lord. Lord, these children, Lord, I have the pleasure, Lord, of, of knowing these yes. children through Sunday school. And Father Jesus. God, they are a pleasure. But Lord, they are like little sponges soaking up your goodness, soaking up your word. Father God, my prayer is that that never stops. And that, Lord, throughout their life, they will continue to grow in a knowledge of you. May you bless them. Yeah. May you keep them. Yeah. In that wonderful name of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Lord, we bless you this morning. We thank you because every good and perfect gift, they comes from you. So we bless you on behalf of Josh, on behalf of Nick and Nikita. We thank you for Winnie. We thank you for, um, for Paisley. We thank you for dear life. Mm. We thank you for being a good God, mm. a good father. Mm. And we trust you that for the future, you will continue to be dear for them. We bless them this morning. The name of God the Father, the name of God the Son, the name of God the Holy Spirit. We pray that the Lord will lift up his countenance upon you and make his face to shine upon you. We pray, oh God, that the Lord will be the glory and the lifter of your head that you'll be rooted, that you'll be grounded. For Winnie and for uh, Paisley, we pray that you'll grow in wisdom, you'll pray in the knowledge of God, and you'll pray in the fear of the Lord. We pray that, the, that you'll be an evangelist for, for, your, for your peers in the name of Jesus. We pray the years ahead of you, ahead of you too, will be great and beautiful. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for all you've done, all you are doing, 
and all you will continue to do will return to you back of glory, honor, praise, and adoration. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, we exalt your mighty and everlasting name. We we'll give you glory, we we'll give you honor. You are a good, good Father, a good God. You reign from heaven on high. There's none like you. Thank you, Lord, for this family. Thank you for Winnie and Prezi. Thank you for their life. We thank you, Lord, for your amazing love and grace upon our life. Your mercy, which you knew every morning. Your name alone be exalted in Jesus' name. Father, our sincere desire is that you make your way known to everyone, this family, and everyone in this church. Lead and direct them. You're a good father. You know what's right and what's good for them. Father, Lord God, we ask, provide for them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Meet them at the point of their need in Jesus' name. Lead and direct them in all they do in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. We overwhelm this entire house, O oh Lord, with your love in Jesus' name. And your name alone be glorified. Thank you, thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Shane of Days, for you are good and good indeed. There's nothing we can say, we can talk now. It's just when you, but you remain on high. You remain God above every other thing. Father, Lord God, thank you. Let them know your love. Let them know you. Let them know the purpose you set for them. Father, Lord God, all the declarations we've done this morning on our own will fall short. Only you can do them. Father, help us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Teach these children your beautiful love. Teach them your way. Your name alone be glorified. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Shen of Days. We ask for blessing of God the Father, blessing of God the Son, blessing of God the Holy Spirit upon this family. Your name alone be exalted in their lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. Amen. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Father God, we just want to thank you. What a beautiful day, O oh God. Mm. This is the day you have made, and we are rejoicing, and we are indeed very glad. Thank you, God, for this family. Thank yes. you for Nikita. Thank you for Josh. Yes. Thank you, God, for that which you started to do in their lives. Thank you, God, because it is you, oh God, that has sown this seed, this desire to dedicate these children to you. First of all, Lord, I pray for, the, for Josh and Nikita, that, Lord, in this, in this, in this race of Christianity that they have come into, Father God, I know your mercy will keep them. Father, whatever it is, oh God, that is ahead of them, whatever may pass, whatever lies ahead, your grace is sufficient for them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, all that they need to bring up these children, to bring up Winnie and Pesley in the fear of God. Father, we ask that your mercy, your grace will provide for them. Father God, all that they need physically, to bring up these children, to nurture them in the fear of God and physical things as well. Father, we ask that you provide for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. We pray, oh God, for these little children right now. Father, we know you love, you love them. You love Winnie, you love Paisley. I pray for them this moment, oh God, that Father God, that your mercy, oh God, will never depart from them. That you sow in their heart, oh God, the love and the desire for the things of God. That these children, oh God, will be the light. They will be light shining in the dark crevices of this world. That they will draw men, they draw their peers to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, we ask, oh God, that you set your mark upon these children, that no evil will befall them. No plan of the enemy will triumph over them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we commit the entire family into your hand, yes, O God. Lord. We'll cover them with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. We'll seal them with the seal of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Because they have given their lives to you, they are already sealed. Mm. We say thank you. Yes. Blessed be your holy name, O God. Yes. Father, they've taken the right step. They've come together, O God, in accordance to your, with your word, O God. Father, they have become one indeed. Before the, this church, and before everybody. Father God, because they have made this move, oh God, Father, let this move that they have made, oh God, in coming together as one, getting married and dedicating their children, let this 
let this be the beginning, oh God, of great things in their lives. Yes, Lord, Lord that they will begin to see, oh God, your hand in their lives, mm-hmm. in every area, yes, in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Father, Amen. they will never be ashamed for what they have done. Mm-hmm. Father, instead, oh God, you embolden them, oh God, you make them evangelists, oh God, mm-hmm. wherever they go for the kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. For in Amen. Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord, I just thank you for this family and just um, bringing them to our family at, at Mosbury Lim. Mm. And Lord, um, I pray that you'll bless them, that you'll keep them. And mm. Lord, I thank you for the girls. And Lord, mm. as Sharon prayed, what an, an inspiration they are in our Sunday school and what a gift they are to our group. And just their knowledge and just that that passion to, to learn and sponges lord and i just thank you lord for them lord i pray for nish and gareth as god parents i yes. pray that you will watch them give them guidance and give them discerning hearts lord and lord i thank you that they've brought nikita and josh to us as well yeah. and the family and lord we just thank you for this family as they stand here and we we love you lord and here are our children we dedicate them and lord we just thank you and we thank you for our family at this church and we pray heavenly father that you will be close to them today and forever amen Amen. yes lord as we all stand with josh and nikita this morning we take those promises seriously and we say we stand with them and we pray lord that you will help us to help them lord that you'll be with josh and nikita as they've presented and dedicated Winnie and Paisley to the Lord. Would you anoint them with Nush and Gareth, Lord? Would you anoint them and help them as they step into those Godparents' roles, Lord? And Lord, we pray your anointing upon Winnie and Paisley, Lord. We thank you for them. May you, Lord, bless Winnie. Will you bless Paisley? Will you, Lord, keep them both? Lord, will you make your face shine upon them and be gracious to them. May you, Lord, turn his face towards Winnie. May you turn your face towards Paisley and give them peace. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 We we do have some certificates for you just to remember the day. One each for Winnie and for Paisley. Let's give them a massive, massive round of applause. Thank you so much, Bill, for to go down. And we're going to sing, as, as they make their way back down, we're going to sing the, um, the blessing. The Lord bless you. And I've just prayed there, and we're going to just pray that over and sing that over.
Please take your seats. <clears throat> we was going to do uh, video news as we do usually as a church. Please don't be too upset. We've cut that uh, just for time. I know. Oh, for, thanks for patronising me. And. Uh, <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Just to say, prayer meeting on Tuesday at 6.30 via Zoom. We've got a um, worship workshop at 7 o'clock in the building. We've got a running away child. And, uh, <laughs> and also, uh, next Sunday, Sunday we've got Alistair Cole with us. And he's going to be our guest speaker. And really want to encourage you to be with us for that. A really good friend of ours. Um, uh, a retired Ely minister and he, he's great so please do come to that I just want to spend just a few minutes uh, 10 minutes 15 minutes not long you will be pleased to hear just thank you for not cheering for just sharing a few words this morning don't worry the food is coming it's almost there. It's on its way. Like that, that's got the biggest cheer. And <laughs> I said in the dedication to Josh and Nikita, we stopped, didn't we? We made that point of asking Josh and Nikita to look out and to see that people were standing with them. And I think that's a really important moment as they realise they are not alone in this. And that is so important, isn't it? Because being a parent isn't easy. I have some experience of that. I am a dad. She turned 18 just a couple of weeks ago. She's at the back there with the earphones on. And um, when she turned 18, she's now an adult. And uh, how scary. It's scary. And, you know, for her 18th birthday, uh, me and Vicky, we brought her a birthday card, as you do. And we wanted one that really captured our thoughts towards Daisy. We wanted a card that, you know, really sort of expressed everything me and Vicky were feeling about her turning 18. We wanted a card that was from our hearts. <laughs> from our hearts, our emotion towards Daisy. So on the front of this card, it says this, you are now officially responsible in keeping yourself alive. <laughs> <laughs> I found that was really sort of captured the moment of how me and Vicky felt at this point. Yeah, because it's hard, isn't it? It's hard being a parent. They don't come with manuals. As a man, I wouldn't have read it anyway. But they don't come with manuals. I remember changing Daisy's first ever nappy ever in my life. I didn't have any younger siblings, so I never had that um, experience. I'd, have, I'd never had a reason to change anyone's nappy. As our friends, we were kind of the first one to have a child. So I with no, no responsibility, no nappy change ever before. What you need to know is that Daisy was born nine weeks early. And she was £2.15. And so um, she was in like an incubator or what have you. So not only did I have to change his nappy for the very first time, I had to do it like Homer Simpson, where I had my hands through this incubator, trying to pick her up, trying to change the nappy. And I don't want to boast. But <laughs> I don't want to boast. Come on, come on. But this nappy stayed on for at least 10 seconds. Hold your applause. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. You know, 10 seconds, this nappy changed. She sort of moved and it just flew off. It got pulled. I was like, oh, man. Thankfully, I did improve. <laughs> I did. And thank you. Yeah, I did improve. I, I saw the experience and the more that I did it. Because the truth is, we work hard as parents, don't we? Because we want the very best for our children. I wanted to be able to change Daisy's nappies. I wanted to have, to have the very best that I could give. I read from Mark chapter 10, 13 to 16 through the dedication. And I'm just going to reread it. It says this. People were bringing little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. But the disciples rebuked him. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said to them, let the children, little children come to me 
and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly I tell you, anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the children in his arms, placed his hands on them and blessed them. You see, there was a few things happening here when this was happening. Jesus is heading to the cross. He had started this journey towards the cross. We've celebrated Easter recently, and that was what was happening. As Christians, we believe that Jesus went to the cross, and he took the burdens of our wrongdoings upon his shoulders. That he took the cross, and he took our wrongdoings, took them on his shoulders, and was able to forgive us for all the things that we mess up with. Because as, Christ, as people, we do. And he took all of this on and he was heading towards this moment. That's a lot of pressure. He knew it was happening. He was a busy man. He had a lot to fit in before this happened. But the parents wanted the very best for their children. So they wanted the children to be blessed by Jesus, which is what we've done with Winnie and Paisley. It wasn't us blessing them, it was Jesus blessing them. And that's what they wanted. They wanted to get Jesus to bless them. This great prophet, this man, because he would be the very bless, best to bless them. But the disciples tried to shoo the children away. They tried to say, go away, he's too busy. He's got a lot on. There's a lot of pressure happening. And I'll be honest, I can slightly relate to the disciples there. Have you ever come home as a parent? <laughs> I've seen some of the parents nodding already and I ain't even said it. They know what's coming. You've come home and they start talking to you. They start telling you their day and they start telling you your problems, your worries and all of these things and you just think, I just need two minutes. I just need two minutes. Let me take my shoes off at the very least. You see, as I said, I have no experience with children. And I remember saying to Vicky, saying to Vicky, Vicky, when will Daisy start talking? When will she start talking? Come on, I want some fun here. And then she started talking. And then for about however many years, I've been saying, when will she stop? When will she stop talking? I just need five minutes to clear my head. And now I think she does it just to annoy me. <laughs> she, she has said stories to me and she's gone, I know you zoned out after about one minute, but I carried on. And, you know, because I, I can't help it. And the thing is, that's kind of what the disciples were doing here. But Jesus didn't respond like that. Jesus' response was not like that. He takes time out. He says, bring the children to me. If you've ever wondered about the characteristics of Jesus, this tells you he's a man. Even with all the pressures on him, even with a big crowd in front of him, he took time out. He cared for the parents and he cared for the children with a love that he eventually showed us all on the cross. He showed us that Jesus is for everyone, not just the selected few. But also at this point, Jesus also said, we should be like children. I've said this before, that doesn't mean we turn into Peppa Big and run into muddy puddles, as fun as that would be. Um, but he asked us to be like a child, to like a child coming to Jesus. So what is a child like? Now I could spend probably months answering that, couldn't we? But I'm just going to say two very quick characteristics of what a child is like. Firstly, a child questions and absorbs. I think it was hinted in the prayer meetings that, that Winnie takes everything in in a Sunday school. And I know that because as Sharon's told me, Vicky's told me, she asks questions. She's absorbing it and it's brilliant. Keep on doing that, Winnie. Test them. Come out with harder questions. Really, really stretch them. <laughs> I like going, no, 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 no. But it's a good thing to do. You see, Daisy went through a season, and I don't know if your child ever went through a season like this, where all she answered was the word why. Yeah. Do you remember that time? Daisy, don't do this. Why? Because I said so. 
Why? Because I'm your dad. Why? Because you're my child. Why? I don't know how to answer that. Why? Because I don't. Why? Stop saying why. Why? Exactly. You're ahead of me. They were so frustrating. But the truth is, all she was doing was learning. She was absorbing. She was asking questions in her, her own way, which is a great thing to do. And Jesus says, be like that. It's good for us to question. It's good for us to ask. It's good for us to learn. And do you know what? I want to encourage you, if this is your first time in this church, or it is your 2,000th time in this church, question. Ask. Absorb. Learn. There's a man called Lee Strobel, and he was a, quite a famous American journalist. And his wife became a Christian. And he saw a change in her. And he didn't particularly like it, so he decided to do what he does best. And he became the journalist. And he says, I'm going to go to scientists, I'm going to go to priests, I'm going to go to vicars, I'm going to go to um, medical people, I'm going to go to all of these things, and I'm going to be like a child and just ask all of these questions, and ask loads of questions about it. And by the end of it... This man now asking all these questions, taking all the facts and information in just like a child, he's now a Christian author, he's a pastor, he's a professor at a Bible college in America. You see, I can say with confidence, because I've done it myself, if you ask why, you get an answer. Absorb it, see what happens. Secondly, a child is a dependent. And I know that's a strange word to use, isn't it? But this word actually is very much in my mind at the moment. As we're going through the process of Daisy going off to university, and we filled her in her student finance recently. And then me and Vicky have to fill in our details, because even so she won't be living with us, the government decides how much money we can spend on her. I don't know how that works, because we have none. But she's going to spend our money. And we have to fill this student finance. And they don't call her a child. They call her a dependent. That's how she's classed to us, as a dependent. Somebody who depends on me, someone who depends on Vicky, she is someone who depends on what I can do for her. And rightly so. I'm her dad. And I hope that she will always be able to depend on me. I'm 44 years old. I was on the phone to my mum yesterday. She had a birthday on Friday. Still asking her for advice. I'm 44. She's much older. I can't feel... I don't, I don't actually don't know how old she is. That's bad, isn't it? She's in her 70s. And I'm still asking her for advice. I'm still asking her for praise. We always will depend. And it's good to have someone we can depend on. Someone you can turn to. Someone who makes whatever you are going through better. Not always a solution, but makes it better. And then I remember that's what Jesus does for us. He says, come to me like a child, someone you can depend on. Not someone who suddenly takes all the bad things away, because life happens. But someone we can depend on, who will help us through those times, to be our strength, our help, our guide. And all of those things, like a child depends on a parent, we can depend on God. In a moment... We're going to finish a service with two songs. We're going to finish with Graves into God and something I put on a church WhatsApp. And then we're going to do praise. Jumping is optional. And um, but for Graves into Garden, some of the lyrics are these. And can I just say, most of the songs we've sung this morning, um, Josh and Nikita have chosen because they, they mean a lot to them. And I think they've picked brilliantly this morning. And they've picked this song and it says this, I searched the world but he couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures are fade and never enough. Then you came along and put me back together. And every desire is now satisfied here in your love. You turned mourning into dancing. You gave beauty for ashes. You turned shame into glory. You're the only one who can. 
You turn graves into garden, you turn bones into armies, you turn seas into highways, you're the only one who can. See, that's what happens when we depend on him. He turns things around. He turns those moments into different ways. When a child comes to a parent, what happens? A parent sees it differently and turns those moments around with advice, love, wisdom and help. God changes it around for us because we can depend on him because we always have done and we always will be able to. So my point simply is this. Jesus calls us to come to him like a child. A child that will question, ask, wonder, try to find out more, and at the same time will depend on the help of him. My prayer for you, Winnie and Paisley, is that you will always be women that question as you nurture that faith in God. That you will always be women that you know can fully depend on God. That he will always help you, love you and care for you. Because he's never let you down and he never will. Amen. Amen. So let's stand. And we're going to sing those two songs to finish our service. We're going to sing Graves into Garden. And then we are going to praise and we're going to celebrate what Jesus has done. Amen. the world but it couldn't fill me man's empty praise and treasures that fade are never enough then you came along and put me back together Thank you.
Yes, Lord, we praise you this morning. We give you thanks, Lord Father God, for everything that's happened this morning. What an honour and privilege it's been to be with Josh and Nikita and to celebrate Winnie and Paisley, to celebrate their wedding, Lord Father God. We give you thanks and praise for that this morning. What an honour it has been to be part of it, Lord. And you are great. And Lord, would you help us? If it's our first or our thousandth time in this church, we would always question, absorb, learn. And that we would always know that we can depend on you, Lord, for all that we do. Great are you, Lord. Would you bless the food and the fellowship and everything that happens after this as well, Lord. In your precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for coming this morning.